is a prisoner. Accused of sorcery, he has been given a life sentence on Devil Island. Faster! Come on! We better find shelter soon, sir. The storm's getting worse. Ha! Faster! Sir, I see a village ahead. We'll stop here for the night. Come on! What's the matter, sorcerer? Tired? March! What's the matter with Pinocchio? If he, Jack, and Willie don't show up soon, poor Geppetto's gonna end up a prisoner on Devil Island. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the forest just above the village, Pinocchio, Jack, and Willie were having their problems with the ever-worsening storm. We gotta keep going. I'm too frozen, Jack. Can't we find a cave and rest a while? There are no caves around here. Oh, all right, all right, I'm coming. I see lights up ahead. Look, Jack, it's a village. Hmm. I'll bet you that's where the soldiers took Geppetto. Pinocchio, come have a look. How do we know the villagers will be friendly? Well, there's only one way to find out, Pinocchio. Let's go down there. Yeah, let's go down and ask them for some hot soup. If we go into that village, the soldiers are sure to see us. You sound like you're ready to give up from that tone of voice, Pinocchio. I wish I was part of an oak tree again. If I was part of this oak tree, I'd have a carefree life. Ah, oh, you sound as if you carry all the burdens of the world. Sneaking into that village under the noses of those soldiers is a problem. They have my father. We trees know that, Pinocchio. We saw the soldiers bring your father into the village. What did you do about it? All that you trees could do was just stand there. Oh, don't get angry at us just because you think saving your father is a hopeless cause. <laughs> you can stop that laughing because I'm going to rescue my father. Suddenly, two powerful tornadoes struck from nowhere. One tornado enveloped Pinocchio, the other Jack and Willie. As if by some unearthly plan, the twisters carried them off in opposite directions. Pinocchio was pinned against the side of a mountain. It was as if something or someone wanted him there. How dare you try to melt my snow? Melt your snow? You ungrateful villagers don't appreciate my work. I'm not a villager, my name's Pinocchio. Silence. I'm the Snow Witch. Making it snow in the forest and on the mountains is my domain. Last winter, you villagers tampered with the delicate balance of my work. Your men dug out a whole mountain in search of gold. But all they found for their trouble was a hot spring, which flowed freely and melted my snow. Didn't that make it easier for the farmers of the village to do all their farming? I'll let my nieces answer that. Alice, Tilly. To Pinocchio's astonishment, a cave appeared in the side of the mountain, and out walked identical twins. Snow is not supposed to melt until spring, but the hot spring made it melt in the middle of winter. I don't see what's wrong with the snow melting in the middle of winter. Don't you understand? All the melting snow just turned to ice because the temperature was still way below freezing. The Snow Witch is still angry. And so the farmer's fields got frozen. Yes, and for tampering with my work, we're going to teach the whole village a lesson. That's right. We've waited a whole year to do it. But, uh, what are you going to do? You'll see. We'll take our revenge on you! Huh? No! But, uh, stop! Not me! No! Hey, stop! I'm not a villager! No, please! The tornado carried us closer to the village. At least it saved us some walking. Let's see if we can find Geppetto. Aha! 
The soldiers must have locked Geppetto up in that guardhouse. What? Huh? No, it's out of the question. On your knees! <gasps> Taking these two to Devil Island is simply impossible. <laughs> We thought you might be hesitant about our request, <laughs> didn't we, Michael? Yes. Perhaps this bag of gold might change your mind, Commander. Hmm. Yes, maybe. But tell me, why do you want to imprison an ordinary husband and wife on Devil Island? Oh, they may look like an ordinary couple, sir, but these two are anything but. Oh, oh. What did they do, steal a chicken? <laughs> this is no laughing matter, Commander. These two are evil sorcerers bent upon the destruction of the village. Ten years ago, this woman gave birth to twin baby daughters in the middle of winter. That very evening, an avalanche tumbled down from the mountains and destroyed over half our village. A coincidence, you might think, eh? Except that exactly a year later, on the twins' first birthday, another snow slide occurred and destroyed all that we had rebuilt. I see. These two sorcerers do deserve the same fate as the old man Geppetto. It was a coincidence that the snow slides occurred on our daughter's birthday. We're not to blame. The mayor is just looking for a scapegoat. Be quiet! Oh! Although your cottage was in the path of both avalanches, it was spared any destruction. Well, that proves that sorcery was involved, Mayor. Hmm, then you'll take them to Devil Island with you? Of course, seeing as you presented such a convincing case. <laughs> hey, Charlie! There you are. What took you so long? We all got caught in a windstorm. Seemed to come out of nowhere. Shh. By the way, Mayor, whatever became of the couple's twin baby daughters? We assumed that the girls were possessed by demonic spirits, so we abandoned them in the snow at the foot of the mountains. Hmm. And what was the result? It saved the village. There have been no more slides. Taking our daughters was the cruelest thing you could have done, and you'll pay for it. I tell you, I'm not from this village. Oh, no? Then why are you here, young man? My father's being taken to Devil Island by evil soldiers, and they've stopped at this village. I've got to rescue him. What wrong did your father do? The soldiers are accusing him of evil sorcery because he made me out of wood, but I was brought to life by the Oak Fairy. Oh, that sounds familiar. What do you mean by that? Our parents were accused of being sorcerers and were executed. Really? She speaks the truth. It happened ten years ago, right in this village. You cruel villagers left these two innocent girls to perish at the foot of the mountains when they were infants. Huh? What? This boy is made of wood, Snow Witch. Maybe he's telling the truth about not being a villager. If this young liar is made of wood, how could he have a father? I do have a father. He's in trouble, and it's up to me to save him. Now let me go! You shall stay where you are and watch me fulfill the promise that I made to Alice and Tilly when I found them ten years ago. For melting my snow last year and for your cruelty to Alice and Tilly, I shall have revenge on you, villagers. I'll bury you in a gigantic snow slide! You can't do that! My father is still in that village! Listen, let me make you a deal. If you let me enter the village to get my father out before you make the avalanche, I'll pay you well. <laughs> I have no need for money. <sighs> no! <laughs> no, Snow Witch, I beg you to wait at least until my father and the soldiers leave. Stop begging, Wooden Puppet. It doesn't become you. Oh, but all I'm asking you to do is let me save my father! <gasps> wait! Wait, Snow Witch! Don't leave me like this! But Pinocchio's pleas went unheeded. The Snow Witch disappeared into the blizzard with her two young charges. seemed lost. Some familiar lights appeared. The Oak Fairy! She'll save me! You begged the Snow Witch not to make the avalanche until after you got your father out of the village. Does that mean that you don't care about the lives of the people who live in the village? That's heartless. A real boy with a real heart would have compassion for all human life. It's the Snow Witch that's heartless! I... Can't you see that she's just angry because the villagers don't appreciate her? 
but angry enough to destroy a village? Evidently she is, Pinocchio. But it's an anger that could very well be eased by one who uses his clever head and chooses the right words. How am I going to ever find her when I'm stuck to this mountain? Willie, Jack, and Charlie are on their way to help you now. Be brave and prove that you're a real boy. It. You got it. Thanks a lot, fellas. I'm glad you guys are all right. Charlie says the soldiers have them under lock and key. And the mayor bribed the commander to do them a favor. They're taking two villages to Devil Island. Who are they? Some poor man and his wife and Jeepers. They're being accused of being sorcerers, too. Well, how'd you like that? Alice and Tilly's parents weren't executed after all. I gotta tell a Snow Witch. Oh, 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 oh. Who are Snow Witch Alice and Tilly? You'll find out soon enough. In a whirling flash, the vengeful Snow Witch appeared with an evil and cunning look in her eye. Alice and Tilly cringed at her side. With a magic wave of her arm, she opened a deep chasm in the snow. Your parents are still alive! Don't listen to him, girls. He's lying again to protect the village. Your parents were executed. Alice, Tilly, don't listen to her. Your parents are alive. She's been lying to both of you about them all along. You gotta believe us. We're not lying. Scout's on her. If you let the Snow Witch destroy the village, you'll kill your parents along with the rest of the villagers. You're making all this up. No, I'm not, Snow Witch. Charlie just saw them two hours ago. Snow Witch, I think he's telling the truth and our parents are alive. I do too. You're trying to turn these two against me with your lies. Snow Witch, let Alice and Tilly think for themselves. Let them sneak down to the village and see if their parents are alive. I'm warning you. But what if he's right? Should we go? Yes, let's do it. Don't talk such foolishness. What if the villagers find you? We'll take that chance. Mm-hmm. I beg you, my darlings, don't go! We love you, Snow Witch, but we have to find out the truth! I raised you both and kept you from the cruelty that life brings! Don't return to the village that scorned you! I won't let you! The Snow Witch's loathing for the village was so strong, she'd stop at nothing to prevent Alice and Tilly from returning. With another magic wave of her arms, she created a mammoth storm to stop them. I'll never let you go! Oh, yes, you will. You must stop this storm. You can't keep children from their parents. Let go of my arm, you little devil. But Pinocchio held firm, and suddenly the storm ceased. Now's our chance. Let's run for it. Just look. They're getting away because of you. Now you'll really feel my wrath. As Pinocchio tumbled helplessly down the hill, the Snow Witch again raised her arms and created a storm that shook the trees to their very roots. But suddenly, the heat from the rubbing together of the quaking trees started a forest fire. Fire? I bet she's afraid of fire. The Snow Witch had become angry when recounting the story of the hot springs. Pinocchio gambled that her anger came from a fear of all things hot. <gasps> hey, she is afraid of fire. I knew that it would work. Keep away from me, you scoundrel! Keep away! While Pinocchio held the Snow Witch at bay, Alice and Tilly stole into the village. Uh, let's go sit down and take a snooze. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Now! The girls crept up to the open guardhouse door. Look, Tilly! The guard's asleep. 
<gasps> Could those two be our parents? Meanwhile, Jack, Willie, and Charlie had joined forces with Pinocchio. <laughs> That's it, fellas. Keep backing her up. Keep away! Keep away! Now throw the torches! <laughs> to the villains! You'll be sorry now! You can't defeat me that easily! <laughs> Look! Yikes. Another storm! Oh, no! Meanwhile, Alice and Tilly sat face to face with the two prisoners they thought might be their parents. Goodness, where did the two of you come from? We, we just came down from the mountains. Mm -hmm. Down from the mountains? Do you live there? They're twins. And look at those little beauty marks on their faces. Yes, but why do you live in the mountains? We were abandoned there as infants. Were your parents accused of sorcery? <gasps> yes, but how did you know that unless... <gasps> Mommy! Daddy! <laughs> oh, 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 we're family again! <laughs> Where are you, Pinocchio? They've got Geppetto in the guardhouse over there. I wonder whether Alice and Tilly have found their parents yet. Alice, these chains. We're going to have to get the key. Uh, uh, listen, the snow slide is coming. Snow slide? Uh, we've got to warn them. Do you think we should warn the villagers after what they did to us, Tilly? We must. If we warn them in time, perhaps they can stop the snow slide from crushing us all. Mother, father, don't worry. We'll be back for you. An avalanche is coming! A snow slide. What's that? What's she saying? There's going to be an avalanche. Here I sit in this cage. Where is Pinocchio? Hey! Hey! Everybody wake up! An avalanche is coming! An avalanche huh? is coming! What? Avalanche? Huh? An avalanche is coming! The top of the mountain! No! Goodness, even the soldiers are panicking. Now's a good time to get your father out of the guard house. No one's guarding it. The prisoners! Oh! All right, old man. Up on your feet. We're gonna get out of here fast. Well, what about us? We'll let the snow slide take care of you, sorcerer. Oh. Move! Oh. <gasps> father, I'm here! Pinocchio! Get on the sled, you fool! Out of the way! Yeah! Wow! Oh, oh, oh. Pinocchio! Oh. oh, father! As Pinocchio watched his father ride off in the distance, the Snow Witch descended to wreak havoc. My snow will bury all of you. Nothing can stand in my way. The courageous trees, whose leader had spoken to Pinocchio and his friends when they first arrived in the forest, bravely tried to stand up to the Snow Witch's onslaught, but the power of her avalanche was too much for them. You foolish trees can do nothing to stop me! Not even, even the, the trees, trees can, can stop her! Those poor trees! The witch's fury is going to destroy them! Looks like I was badly mistaken when I thought those trees had a carefree life. Alice! Papa. You did it! Alice! Tilly! Come to me! Huh? Oh no! Alice! We have to stop her! Tilly! Oh no! Whoa! Snow Witch! You must stop this avalanche! Ah, oh, but darlings, I'm doing this for you to avenge the cruelty you suffered at the villagers' hands! Tilly! Girl. Don't move! Out of the way! Stand clear! I don't want to hurt you! Stop! Stop. Don't, don't do move. this! 
I'll not stop this snow slide for anyone. <laughs> snow Witch, please listen. Alice and Tilly have found their parents. You've had your revenge by destroying the village. Will you also destroy the only two people you've ever loved? Taking the Oak Fairy's advice to use his head, Pinocchio's words struck home. Oh. You're right, Wooden Boy. I could never hurt my two darlings. Oh. We're sorry. Goodbye, my dears. She vanished forever. The damage to the village was severe, but Pinocchio had saved the villagers' lives with his words of courage and compassion. Pinocchio, the Snow Witch destroyed our homes, but at least your father and all the villagers escaped unharmed. Huh? Yeah, I guess all the houses can be rebuilt. But what about the trees? Hey, speaking of your father, Pinocchio, we better get going. Right. We've got to go. We know you can save him, Pinocchio. Alice and I believe in you. Thanks. We'll be seeing you then. Goodbye. Goodbye.